Hello, my name is Sonam Bin and today I would like to introduce a web standard called uh, Web Components and I would like to create a custom element in particular. And to do so, I would start with a simplistic index.html file. And this will just contain HTML with a body tag inside and a, a script tag. And of course, uh, the script tag is uh, will contain the definition of the custom component so this is going to be javascript so class air hex so let's go air hex extends extends html element and now what i would like to do is i want to use the um, callback connected callback and what this is if the component gets connected to the dom this callback is going to be called is similar to post construct or at before in unit tests in java so um and then i can just rely on the dom property in in a, in a text and then i say um on or just no slides so enough no slides so i'm done so um now the uh, custom element is created and now i have just to define that or to register this, that and this custom elements dot define, and I will have to use the name under which the custom element be, uh, um, becomes available, and this is going to be a uh, hex. So that, and um, by the way, there has to be a dash. So this is a part of the standard, and then I will have to pass the class, and the class is a hex. So looks nice. So this is the definition. Usually you would put your definition somewhere else. It doesn't have to be in the same on the same page. And uh, then I can just use my element. So yeah, hex will define the element. So this is where the custom element is actually used. So let's save that. And then I would use um, Google Chrome to open that. As you can see, no slides. So just take a brief look what it actually is. As you can see, this is a true element, standalone element with the content, no slides. So what we did, we created an element from scratch without any extended dependency, no JavaScript, no CSS, nothing. And uh, yeah, it's an interesting new standard or new uh, two, three years old standard called Web Components. It's of course not available in all browsers yet, but these are interesting. So thank you for watching and see you in upcoming air hacks, particular Web Essentials, React, Angular, or whatever you're interested in and uh, upcoming conferences or even projects. So thank you for watching and bye.